Where do you want to go? Where are you very? Uh, I don't know. I haven't even thought of it yet. It's All not right. time for me to eat. So, uh, what's this joke you're talking about? All right. Got this hotel. Dude walks in there. And he wants a room, like up on the fifth floor. You know, he wants the streets cleared about one o'clock. Cause you know, he said he's gonna fucking like throw knives over the balcony at one o'clock. So there might not be fucking people on the street at one o'clock. You know, the hotel can just like, what the fuck? But you're paying for it. So all right, whatever. All right, next dude walks in and he gets a room on the fourth floor. You know, so about the same time, about one o'clock. You know, he's gonna. He wants the streets cleared on the fourth floor because he's gonna fucking throw some green paint over the side of the balcony. All right. Next, next dude walks in. He wants room on the third floor. He's gonna, you know, same, same dude. You know, weird fuckers all coming in at the same time. He wants room on the th on the uh, third floor because he's gonna take a piss over the balcony at one o'clock. He wants the streets cleared too. All right. So this old woman walks in. You know, he's like. You know, by this time, you know, the bellhop dude or whatever running the desk, like, you know, what the fuck? What, you know, what do you want? What crazy shit are you going to do at 1 o'clock? You know, she's like, nothing. I just like to sit on the back and, you know, it's nice, you know, about 1 o'clock. So 1 o'clock rolls around. Dude throws his knives on the fifth floor. Dude throws his paint on the fourth floor. Dude's taking a piss on the third floor. Oh, well, Granny, you know, she's sitting on the second floor just waiting there. Well, green paint hits the dude's dick. Knives cut the dude's dick off. Granny sticks her arm out the back and he catches it and starts sucking her a pickle. I can't believe you just fucking said that. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> yeah, you know this is going on Facebook, right? Yeah, right. Uh, uh, should you not, sir? Oh, well. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so here's mine. One day, little kid's talking to his mom. And he asks her, Hey, Mom, where do the babies come from? And she just has this oh shit moment because, well, at this point the kid's still too young to comprehend sex. So she says, well, babies come from a stork. And the kid's like, okay, I can kind of see that, but who fucks the stork? <laughs> very nice, very nice. You got another one on you? Oh God. You might have to go, let's see. I've been told dirty jokes in front You got one? Yeah, I think I got another up my sleeve. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm trying to decide where I want to Okay, so while Poe's thinking about his next big move, one night a bartender's closing down the shop, and he hears three knocks at the back door. Okay, so some drunk walking through the alleyway, looking for a pisser, wrong direction. So he cracks the back door, there's a bum standing there. He says, hey, man, you, is there a chance that you might have a uh, toothpick on you? He's like, well, we got tons of them, so here's one. He doesn't think to ask why. So he just closes the door, goes back to polishing off the bar, hanging shit up. So a few minutes later, three knocks at the back door again. Opens the door, another hobo. The guy says, hey, man, you got another toothpick? He's like, okay, this is getting a little bit weird, but sure, here's a toothpick. So Bum says, thanks, man, walks off, bartender closes the door, and a few minutes later, just as he's about to turn off the lights, three more knocks at the back door. So he opens it, there's another fucking homeless guy. He says, okay, let me guess, your buddies came by looking for toothpicks and you want one too. The guy says, nah, man, I want a straw. So the bartender's a little bit taken by this, and he decides to ask, well, why is it that the other two guys wanted toothpicks and you want a straw of all things. He's like, well, some drunk got sick in the alleyway and the other two fuckers walked off with the good stuff. God, that's nasty as hell. Uh, I try. You got one yet? All right. There's this bar. All right. And a uh, dude walks in, you know, he orders a drink, you know, and he sees this horse over in the corner of the bar. You know, he asks the bar, you know, what's the deal with the horse? And he says, you know, you get like $1,000 if you can make the horse laugh. He said, nobody's ever done it. You know, this has been going on for months. So dude goes over there, you know, whisper something in the horse's ear. You know, the horse just, <laughs> just fucking just kills over, starting laughing. You know, you know that's Martin, you know, Nice sound effects. Yeah, oh yeah, of course, of course. Here, you want to do the horse? Nah, I think I'll let you do the horse. Appreciate it. Anyway, so you know, he goes over to the bartender, gets his thousand dollars, you know. The bartender's like, what the hell, you know? So he comes in, same dude comes in the next night, you know, there's another sign there for a thousand dollars, you know, if you can make the horse cry, you get a thousand dollars. You know, same dude, figures he'll take some of the crack at it, goes over there, the horse just starts bawling, just tears everywhere. 
goes and gets this thousand dollars. Before he walks out, the bartender says, "What in the hell? You've been in here two nights in a row. You know, you've got two thousand dollars. You have to tell me what you told me to make that horse cry, and then to make him laugh, and then to make him cry." He says, "Well, you know, I got up in his ear and told him I had a bigger dick than he had, and you know, he just started laughing. And then next night I came in and told him, uh, told him the same thing. And right before he started laughing, I showed him." <laughs> So there you go. That's kind of a heavy burden to carry if you think about it. Yeah, my dick's bigger than a horse's. Yeah. That's what do you make of that? That's a. Uh, it's a pretty big tool to carry around day to day. Can't imagine it'd be comfortable. Hell. Okay, so we've gone from just dirty jokes in general to all kinds of dick innuendo. Uh, let's see. Hang on, you got another one coming up dry. Uh. I definitely not telling the sprinkler joke. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep the sprinkler joke offline. I don't know, you might have to kill that one there. No, I don't feel like killing you. I think we're on to something. Shit, all I can think of is food. Well, you might be able to think of food, but you might be able to answer this. What's that? What do you call it when a midget jumps off a bar stool? Got Suicide. <laughs> and here we are at Sonic of Stark Ganistan. Sonic of Stark Ganistan. Sadly enough, it's some of the best eating in town. <laughs> You're laughing because you agree. I'd just like to know what that knocking noise is. It's probably that dead rat you have in here. Yeah, right. Kiss my ass. What do you mean kiss your ass? You do have a dead rat in here somewhere. No, we had one in here. Because they decided to crawl up my fucking tires. No, uh, I'm pretty sure we still have one in here because the smell never left until the thing decomposed. Uh, no, 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 so no. It's so somewhere in here is the rest of a dead rat. Nah. Hey, whatever helps you sleep at night. Uh, it helps me sleep at night. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to kill this one here. <laughs> 